Hello and welcome to another episode of Ducrass TV. Today we're going to be joined by Lou Collins, who's going to show us a stunning scrapbook page using the Papermania Heritage Press Collection and showing us that it's not just for Father's Day. Hi Lou, welcome along. Hi Katie. So you're going to show us a scrapbook page today? Yes, my favourite. I love scrapbooking. Oh, that, oh, me too. So you've used the Heritage Press Collection? Heritage Press, um, new of the artiste Spritzing inks. Fantastic. I know Mixed they're them, a favourite of yours yeah, as well. Different ways of using them as well. Wonderful. Well, first I'm going to use papers from the Heritage Press collection. Now, these sh are shown on my scrapbook page, but this is one that I thought I probably wouldn't use on this layout. Okay. So I'm actually using the reverse of it, because okay. it's quite a smooth paper. So we're going to die cut it first, because what I want to do is eventually get this faux metal effect. Okay. So we're going to use these two. So what I'm going to do is lay these down. We can do both of these Just at the same those time. On top of the plate, aren't we? There. Yes. And we'll pop our paper on top. There we go. Lovely. Run this through. So you've got this just under sort yeah, of four and a half, um, haven't you? About. I'm just going to pull it up slightly because it's very thin paper. Yeah. So it doesn't need to go through. You sometimes much. find you need a little bit more depth with more detailed dies as well. Don't yes. You? Ones that are quite simple, you can have it. You can back it off a little bit. Yeah. Pop them out. Really easy. Lovely cut on That's those. That's brilliant, isn't it? You can just hold those for a second. No problem. So next, we're going to add the colour. This okay. is where we start to get our. Uh, a mottled old metal Lovely. effect. So we're going to add this one first. Hematite? Hematite, yeah. Hematite. Think hematite. hematite. Oh, whatever you like. <laughs> but it's got it's a sort of beautiful, it's, yeah, it's got this beautiful sort of sh sort of grey shimmer mica in it. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm shaking, I'm not shaking it up and down because okay. some of that will go up into the nozzle and it could cause a blockage. Oh, okay. so you shake oh, it side, really good side to side and you can hear it in there. So if you can lay the circles white side up for me. You, you want to spray from a distance. So that's all we need. We don't need any more than Just that. Just a really light spritz yeah. there. So now I've got the Artiste ink pad. It's the dye ink pad and it's dark orange. Lovely. And you've got your stamp pad foam, haven't you, there, which is really good for applying inks. Oh, it's brilliant. You cut it to size, shape. I mean, you cut this to a real point. Yeah. Use it. But can you see, as I'm rubbing it in, I'm actually rubbing it off of the mat. Yeah. But it's not covering up that ink, so you've got that, that speckled effect that looks in great. there. So now I've done that. What I'm going to do a second time is add a little bit more ink. Like I say, you can see that shimmer in there, which yeah, gives really it the can. metal effect. Really catches the light, that, isn't it? And we're now going to emboss this beautiful, I think it's a bit like um, a metal grill or a metal... It does, yeah. A metal tray, so yeah, I'm going to Yeah, it really use... does. It's like, um, like a, a manhole cover sort of effect, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So it just adds to that metal effect. So bring him back in. Any anything bigger than this circle won't fit in the embossing folder. Okay. So yeah. So we've done all the detail on it first. Now yep. we're popping it in there. Yeah. So we'll just run this through. You can really feel it going through. So you know it's going to have a lovely impression on it. When it comes out. There we go. It's the oh, second wow. one. Wow. It really sort of makes the shiny areas yeah. really pop, doesn't it? I'm just going to pick out some of that embossing. You can use the same sponge, okay. but I'm going to use black ink. Only a small amount, a really small amount. And just brush it over. Can you see? It's oh, just yeah. picking it up. Adds to those really, those raised areas. Yeah. I'm just going to add this black ink around the edges as well. And this just helps lift it up from the page, almost yeah. adds a shadow around it once it's on the, your layout page. Yeah. So now we're going to go onto our layout page. So first I'm just going to do a light spritz over, so we've still got the speckles. Lovely. And take a bit of kitchen roll, this is preparation so I don't make a mess. I'm lifting the lid up. And what I'm doing, I'm going to plan roughly where these two metal pieces are going, because okay. what I want to do is add some drips down, almost, almost oil, oil oh, dripping I down see. from yeah. them. So, oh, so you're got, positioning them so you know that yeah. it's going to come from behind. Yeah, so I've got, you. I've got a pencil here and I'm just going to very lightly do a line from the bottom of these. It's only roughly. Yeah. So you've got an idea. Once you take it away, you've got an idea of where you want to put these. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to very carefully depress the nozzle, not enough for it to squirt out. And then the magic. I'll try and do this away from me. 
So you can see, and we'll turn it upside up down there. Ah, and it mm. dries ever so quickly, so you've not got fast running. Yeah, it's not running drips. all the way off no, the page. No, so you can control it a bit more. And we can just add to it. There we go. That looks lovely. And as soon as you're at the stage where you don't want it to go down anymore, just lay it flat. And you can see already that it's drying. It's already right, drying. It's I am going colour. to just whiz it very quickly because when I do the other the other circle, I don't want these to drip any further. Sure. Brilliant. Yeah, that's just enough, so there's no excess. There's no to really down. sort of pooled sections no. there. I'm going to do let's see, on the other side. That was lucky that actually fell in the right place. <laughs> I suppose the wonderful thing about this is that there's no there's no mistakes really, is there? Because it's designed to look sort there's of not, random, isn't it? Also, every page will be original. You'll never have one exactly no, the same. that's lovely. You can't control it quite enough. Just to add a slight patina look to the whole page, to the okay. metal, I'm going to add... That's hot. Ooh. I'm going to add some green just behind where the circles will be. Okay. So you won't see a lot of those. Okay. There'll be bits peeking through. Right, so while that's drying... What I'm going to do is die cut. So what we'll do, blade to the paper, position these where we're going to like want them. There we go. So I'll now lift it so that our blades will be touching the cutting mat. Yeah, you always want to cut into your cutting pads, unsurprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> we're just running that through around about number five. Go through twice. Forward and back just to make sure it's cut through properly. Perfect. So there we have a Perfect circle shape. Wonderful. What I'll do is I'll pop him. <gasps> oh no! Uh, yep, yeah, cut him in oh, half. Oh my word. Okay, so we can start building our page up now. So I've got my two metal pieces. Lovely. I'm going to go there and start positioning. I've got a larger circle. What I'm going to actually do is add a bit of the browning the edges of these to match. Okay, yeah. Again, like, like the black ink on here, that will help lift it off the page. And it doesn't matter, I've still got a bit of black on there, it really doesn't matter at all. There we go. So if you lay your photo on, just start positioning. This is a really good trick happy. for scrapbooking, isn't it? That if you sort of worry about where you're going to put things and... Don't um, stick it down. Yeah, <laughs> just keep, you know, just not stick anything down to start with and just arrange all the bits and pieces where you want them. There we go. So they'll be like that. So what I would do now if I was at home is take a photo of that with my phone or something. Very good. Just so I remember exactly where it's going to go. So here's one of our pieces. I'm going to pop that around here. Oh, that's very clever. I have another one under here. That one will go. With the Heritage Press papers, you can also buy die-cut packs. Ah, yes. And this sheet is from one of them. So there's a wonderful decoupage sets, aren't they, that have got sort oh, of lovely beautiful. suits and uh, little shirts and so on. But yeah, like yeah. you said, these are the, the sentiments that come along. You always get loads spare, don't you? So. Loads and loads spare. So I'm going to use some that I probably wouldn't be able to use twice because you get two sheets of this yeah. in a pack. So there's my 100% again. Oh, I see. So it's just one of the tiny little elements. Yeah. That's amazing. So it would pop to where I popped in and there. That looks great. There we go. So That's I'm just beautiful. going to glue all this down. Yeah. And then we'll start on the, the stamping and brilliant. the title. Fantastic. There we go. That looks brilliant. You can see I haven't glued my photo down. I want to do a little bit of lift with that with foam pads anyway. Okay. But also on my page I've added a little bit of detail with some twine. Oh, I do like Baker's twine. I love it. This one is from the capsule collection, these spots and stripes. Oh, yes. Um, brights, I think. So I'm going to wrap this round twice. Tie it at the front and then manoeuvre it slightly to exactly where I want it yeah. to be. So just moving that about now. What I've done is I've already put my, my foam pads on the back here. Oh, yes. So I can just take these off, pop him there. Lovely. His 100% is going there. Now, my title. Good stuff. What I've done is I wasn't sure what letters to use with this, so I've altered some a little bit. Ah, that's These are good. some that I've had for a little while. So what I've done is I've used the brown, just blending it 
as we said before, gently blending it into the top. Now I see. Now I'm going to use a different colour. I'm going to use the black. I'm going to use the black along with a bit of brown okay. so it's not too harsh. It's giving you that sort of uh, really sort of on-trend ombre look, isn't it? That looks yes. great. So these are the dies that I cut my circles out of. Because okay. I want to put my title here, I'm going to use this die. Just position the tops of them. Oh, wow. Only the very tops, just enough to hold them in place. There we go. Perfect. That's a very clever trick. I'm definitely going to be stealing that one. There we go. So there's another way of using the dies. Brilliant. So I'll just add a few buttons and that'll be the page finished. Wonderful. Brilliant. Very lastly, little time piece that's come oh, from the stamp Yeah, set. this is the Heritage Press um, suit stamp set. Let's see what it's called. It's called Dapper Gent. Very nice. Very dapper. Um, and obviously you've got all the parts to make a little suit, haven't you, here? So, but you've yeah. also got the accents, like you said. There's, there's, like a, there's pipe a pocket and a... watch, so I'm using this one today. Just one down here. Brilliant. There we go. Lovely. It's got a really lovely flow across your page as well, so to draw That's your eye down. That's what you want down. to do is yeah. let the eye, eye trail down from yeah. one side to the other. Wonderful. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much okay. for showing us that. It's lovely to see some scrapbooking. Wonderful. Um, if you've enjoyed uh, looking at Lou's project, we can find all the instructions for everything she's used, um, all of the products she's used and so on at docrafts.com. So pop over and have a little look and uh, you can create your own page. We'd also love to see if you've been crafting too. Perhaps you've been making some masculine projects. Uh, we'd love to see maybe what you gave as a card for Father's Day. Um, upload your projects to docrafts.com and then drop us a link in an email to tv at docrafts.com and we can feature your project on a future episode of Docrafts TV. But until next time, happy crafting.